Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how I uh, turn the handle for these hand pieces and the tooling I use. I uh, modified a small rotary table that I got off eBay. It's a three inch rotary table. I had to do some work on it. It was kind of sloppy when I got it. But I was able to do the tighten up on it. Now it's uh, it's hanging pretty tough. I pulled out the, the little dial that came with it because the, this thing was pretty useless when I got it. It works pretty good now. And you can get these off of eight, uh, eBay for around $90 if you buy it US. Uh, if you want to send, if you want to have it sent from India, you can get it for around $50 shipped. So I'm going to show you, like I said, I. Uh, I made this adapter because I had wanted one of these for a long time. I'd always wanted to be able to turn ball ends and never really wanted to make a fixture. And I seen these little three inch rotary tables and I thought, well, there's the base. Now all I have to do is make the adapter that'll bring me up to center line on the lathe and I've got me a ball turner. So first thing I'm going to do here is remove the compound so I can put the rotary table in its place and I'll show you how I set it up so that it'll turn a ball and not a football or some something that isn't round so let me get this out of the way Okay, compounds removed and I got lucky because this thing fits right in place. So whether it would fit on your lathe or not, that would depend on, on your lathe of course. And you might have to make an adapter plate or something to get the thing to work. But this, uh, this saved me some time as far as making this thing. So. I'm pleased with it. it. It does what I want it to do. A lot of guys make these and they put a handle on them. And the first thing that they turn is a little ball on the end of their handle for this thing. Well, with the handle installed, it's a little harder to, to store it. So, okay, I've got this in place and locked down. And what I do... like to make sure that this is square with the chuck. Let me bring it in here and that just will square it up. Alright. Square with the chuck. That really doesn't need to be locked down or anything like that because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull the material out. And this material is one inch one and a quarter inches. It doesn't matter how, you know, I'm going to pull it out to about there. Lock it down. It's been faced off, so it's got the little burr on the end of it, the dead center. So I'm going to bring this, I'm going to bring my tool in. It's good and square. And I want that tool right at the center. Just touched the part right there. We're right at center. We've touched the part. I'm going to lock down. I'm going to lock down the carriage to the bed. Now I can probably should loosen these first. It's a little tight in here. I'm going to. loosen this thing because I've got it right where I want it. It's on center and it's set. I'm even going to on my drill I'm going to set zero on my digital readout. But it's carriage is locked down and I'm loosening up the set screws for the ball turner. Now the 
the thing is set on the center line of my part and I'm going to pull it back out of the way because I want to leave the cross slide right where it's at and I can pull this back out of the way and swing it 90 degrees and I'm going to bring it back in I want to keep it as not close to 90 as I can I'm going to bring it up to the part and just touch the part and lock it down Okay, let me get her locked down. Okay, and the radius of the ball turner is now set for this. Inch and a quarter diameter. And that's the easiest way to set these things back it up. Now that she's set, go ahead and push this part out of the way because I want to bring I want to bring this tool in as close as I can get to the chuck without the chuck running into it. Okay, it's swinging pretty good there. I just want to make sure Okay, yep, that'll be fine right there. I'm gonna lock the carriage down again. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this back to 90. Bring it back into zero. And it doesn't have to go all the way into zero because all I'm using it for now is a stop. So I'm going to pull my part out to where it stops. I'm going to lock it down. Back up my cross slide. And now it's ready to... Now it's ready to start turning the radius. And what I use, instead of a handle here, this is just a half inch wrench and it's a long one so that makes a nice handle and this is what I'll use to turn it. So here we go. I deal dial in about half a turn at a time. to it now to where we, I don't want to touch it this time, make a quarter cut. of it I'll clean up after it's cut off turned around faced and uh, drilled and tapped I'll be able to farm it and uh, file it when it's actually connected to 
a hand piece. So what I do from here is right now I would just pull it out, turn my rod around. Sometimes I might have to get my tool out of the way to get it in or out, but I turn turn the bar stock around bring it up where it touches the tool and we're ready to go again I'd turn this ball and then I'd pull the rod out take it to the uh, cutoff saw and cut them off at a little over an inch I'd say I'd cut it off at an inch 210,000 somewhere in there so I've got a little bit to face off. And that's how I turn the ball handle for these hand pieces. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.